Mrs. Bennett. What's going on? I'm putting my bike downstairs and I'm not going to ride it ever again. I'm all done. All done? Forever? Forever. I'm never getting back on it again. Oh, goodness. Are, are you sure? Tell me more about why you're feeling this way. Well, yesterday I went for a bike ride and I fell really hard and I got all these bumps and scrapes and mm. bruises and they're on my legs too and it hurt so badly. I cried mm. so hard. Oh, and so I'm not getting back. I'm not getting back on because I don't want to get hurt again. Oh, goodness. So you feel scared. Can you? Well, you that's the question? thing, Mrs. Bennett. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I kind of feel two things at the same time. Is that okay? Can I feel two things at the same time? Absolutely. You can feel as many feelings as you need to feel. Sometimes you feel one, two, sometimes you feel a whole lot of feelings at the same time. That's perfectly normal. So, but you're scared and you're frustrated? Well, I feel frustrated because I fell yesterday and it really hurt. Mm. And I feel scared because I don't want to get back on my bike and fall and get hurt again. Mm. I love that you used an iMessage to tell me about your feelings. And those are both very valid feelings. Do you remember when you read the story, The Little Engine That Could? Yeah, I love that book. I know. And do you know, did that little engine quit when it didn't work out for him? No. He didn't quit. He kept trying, didn't he? Yeah. So what if you tried again? And what if you used that phrase in your head? What did he say? I, he said, I think I can. I, I think, think I can. Do you think I that can. would help you give it another try? But I, the little engine was so brave. And I don't think I can be brave because I'm scared. I'm too scared oh. to get it. Of course you can be brave. Being brave doesn't mean you're not scared. If you're brave, it just means you do things even if you're afraid. Even really? if you're afraid. Oh, yeah, you do hard things even if you're scared. That's what makes you brave. So I can be scared to get back on my bike, but still be brave and do it anyway? Absolutely. And you can use the phrase, the little engine it could. Do you have anything that, that makes you feel more brave? Well, when I think about brave people, I think about Elsa and Anna and all mm -hmm. of the brave things they did. And mm -hmm. I think I have, I think, actually, I have an Elsa and Anna scrunchie. Do you think mm -hmm. if I put it in my hair when I, when I ride my bike, do you think that I could be brave like them? I think so. I think that would help you feel brave. And then you could use the I think I can and you can try again. Well, I don't know how this has been, and I don't want to go out there all by myself. What? What if I fall and hurt myself and I'm all by myself? That is scary. What if you asked um, a friend? What if you asked a friend or a grown up to go out with you for just a little bit and help you for a few minutes until you felt comfortable and until you felt a little better? I think that would make me feel a little bit better, just just so I can get on it and make sure I'm okay. Can I come over and, and be with you while you ride your bike? You will? Of course, I'd love to. Will you I bring your bike too, Mrs. Bennett? I will, let's ride together. Okay, I think I'm it. ready to be brave now and get back on board. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for, it, for feeling afraid and feeling frustrated, but being brave and overcoming those and keep trying. You're so brave, you, I'm Bennett. proud of you. Boys and girls, you might feel lots of feelings too. You might feel, afraid. You might feel frustrated and that's okay. So when you're feeling frustrated or afraid, I want you to remember that being brave just means doing hard and scary things. Even if they're hard and scary, you keep trying and keep going. See if you can find a grown-up to help you if it's riding your bike or you need some help. See if a grown-up or a brother or sister could help you for a few minutes and that might help you overcome your fear and be more brave. You've and got I this, boys and girls. Saying, I think I can. Yes, always say, I think I can. I know you can do it, boys and girls. All right. I'm proud of you, Miss Felici. I'll see you in a minute. See you, Mrs. Bennett.